Hi, I'm Chase Black, reading this story for Storytime with Saints. Please answer the questions at the end of the video in the comments. This is the true story of the three little pigs. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf to be exact. You can just call me out. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little critters like bunnies and sheeps and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in Once Upon a Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny, and I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar, so I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now this neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house out of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right to the ground. I didn't want to just walk into somebody else's home, so I called Little Pig. Little Pig, are you in there? He didn't answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. When I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed the great sneeze. And you know what? That whole straw house fell down, and right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig. That is a door now. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good little ham dinner lying there in the straw, so I ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little bit better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar, so I went to my next neighbor's house. This neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not by much. He had built his house out of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the little house, but nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled, go back, go away. Wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the door and I felt another sneeze coming on. I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed the great sneeze. You won't believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. Now you know how food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a sec second help. I was getting awful full, but my cold was feeling a little better. I still didn't have a cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake, so I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's big brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built this house out of bricks. I knocked on the brick house, but there was no answer. I called Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, are you in? You know what that rude little porker answered? He said, Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me again. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack of sugar. And he wouldn't even give me one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, and your granny can sit on a pen, too. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm wolf, but when someone talks about my granny like that, I just go a little insane. When the cops drove up, of course, I was trying to break down the little pig's door, and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and making a real scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. 
They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar just didn't sound real exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all that huff and puff and blow your house down. They made me out to be the big bad wolf. That's it. That's the real story. I was framed, but maybe you can loan me a cup of sugar. Okay, now just some questions for you guys. Number one, in the story, what did the wolf compare the pigs to? A, a birthday cake. B, cheeseburger. C, home cooked meal. Number two, how does this story make you feel about the wolf? Is he still the bad guy to you? Number three, how is the story of the three little pigs different than the original story? And number four, what did the wolf need to borrow from the pigs throughout the story? Okay, thanks you guys for watching. I uh, hope it was good.